Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can create a zoom in face effect for your Instagram filters in the Sparky R Studio. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create this zoom in face effect here in the Spark AR Studio. The first thing we have to do is to add an object to our scene. And of course, we need a face tracker object because we want to know where our face is located in the scene so we can zoom into it. So the next thing we have to do is to drag and drop our face tracker we have just created to the batch editor and Spark AR will automatically create this free patches for us. So the next thing we have to do is to add a lot of patches here to our patch editor and connect them in the right way. But before we are doing that, we go to our camera into our scene, go to the right hand side and click to on the little plus next to texture extraction and we get this um, camera texture in our asset panel. So now we just have to drag and drop this asset into our patch editor and we get our camera texture patch yeah, for the patch editor. So now we will add some patches to our patch editor. The first thing we have to add is a screen tab because we want to trigger the zoom in effect with a screen tab. So for this we need this patch. Of course you can trigger this effect in any other way you like, any other interaction like when you record the filter. So the next patch we need is an animation patch. Just connect the gesture state output with the play of the animation <coughs> patch. So next thing we have to add three transition patches. For this I just search for one transition patch and then just yeah, copy and paste it two times. So now we have to change our type of our transition patches. At the moment they are set to vector three but we need the first two to number and the last one to vector two. So now we can connect the progress output of our animation patch with the progress input of every transition patch. So next we need an unpack patch because we need our X and Y coordinates of our face. So for this we go to the face tracker patch and then connect the 3D position output with the value input of our unpack patch. Now we need to multiply patches and then we connect the X output with the first one and the Y output with the second one. Now it's time to set out, up our transition um, <coughs> patches. The first will be start 0 and end minus 8 and the second will be start 0 and the end 2. So now we can connect the output value of our first transition to our first multiply, the one with the x coordinate. The second one goes to the second multiply patch, the one with the y coordinate. So <clears throat> next thing we have to create a pack patch. And here we have to set the type from vector 3 to vector 2. Now we connect the first path, the one with the x coordinate to the first input and the second path, the one with the y coordinate to the second input. So now we need another batch, the 2t transform pack patch. Just add this batch and now the output of the pack patch goes into the translation input of the 2D transform pack. So now we have to connect our transition patch, the last one, the, the one with the vector 2. The output goes into the scale input. But we also have to set up this transition patch. So the start will be 1 for x and y and the end will be 2 for x and y. Of course you can um, play, or play around with the settings. This for example is the, yeah, the scale how much we zoom in to our face. So now we are almost done. We need just another patch from our add patches menu here. We need a um, texture transform patch. Just add this patch. Here our camera texture, our yeah, orange patch comes comes in so the RGB8 
a output goes into the texture input of the tra tra texture transform patch and the 2D transform output of the 2D transfer pack goes into the transform. So now we need a patch to connect the output to. For this we need to create a new material. Add the new material, make sure the shader type is set to flat and then click on the little arrow next to textures. So then you will find this yellow texture in your text in your patch editor and now we can connect the output of the texture transform to the input of the diffuse texture material here. So but now we need of course an object we can yeah, attach this, this material to. For this we will add a new object to our scene a rectangle object. So now we see this rectangle but we needed to fill the hole width and height. For this just click on the rectangle, go to the right hand side and click on width, then fill width and height, fill height. So go down to the materials, click on the little plus and select the material we have just created. So now nothing has changed because we need to need to tap on the screen of course to trigger our yeah, our zoom in effect. So for this, I will just click here, uh, tap on my screen and it will zoom into my face and yeah, it will lock to my face. So the face is always in the middle of the screen and I think it's really funny effect. So just restart when my face is up there. It will also zoom in to my face and yeah, keep track of it. So I hope I could help you with this tutorial. If yes, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!